Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error. You know, there's a bunch of different battery technologies I could have gone with here to uh, complete my off-grid setup for the house. This option I fell into because it came with the trailers that I had purchased, so rather than throw away stuff that may have some usable life left in it, I figured I'd get them in here, fire them up, and see how they do. Well, they're doing great. It's been three years that we've been running on this battery bank. And uh, the only thing it requires is once every six months, I go through, I clean the tops of the batteries, get any acid off there, because that can be kind of dangerous. And remember that these things boil when they're equalized charging, and that boil can get some acid moving. So you want to make sure you keep them clean all the time, check all the wiring, and then top them up. Uh, they'll burn through about 20 gallons of water or so, distilled water, every six months. And I actually have a little battery service history here. 19 gallons, 25 gallons, 14 gallons, and then about six months ago, 25 gallons. So that means we are due. The other way I can tell that these need service is these lights that I have on the front. I actually just topped up one cell in this so that you can see what it looks like when it's fully lit. But you can see this one's really dim, really dim. A little bit brighter, but definitely not right. And then this one's completely off. So that's telling me that my battery acid has dropped to a low enough level that we need to bring them back up again. It's a bit of a painstaking process, but you're only doing it twice a year. And you got free power <laughs> every other day of the year. So to me, it's a no-brainer. We'll take good care of these and uh, see if I can get, a, I mean, I don't know, another three years out of them would be awesome. I don't know when they're gonna eventually not cut the mustard here, but uh, so far it'll run our ACs all night, no problem, does what we need. And then essentially these were free for me. So at some point we'll switch to lithium, but I'm gonna wait for these to crap out first. You just want to get in here and wipe these guys down at least every six months. Because what can actually happen is that battery acid will build up, begin corroding. And if it starts to touch the steel case sides here, it can find its ground and you can uh, get some smoking cells and that's not good. So we want to make sure we don't have to do a perfect job cleaning them, but as long as you're in here every six months, the stuff can't build up to a point where it could be dangerous. I should also be wearing gloves, but you know, why? A little battery acid never hurt anybody, as far as I know. And you can use anything as a cleaner that neutralizes battery acid, so. A little bit of water with baking soda mixed in is fine. That's usually what I use. And I like to find my vice grips. Set these to the right width. And then just go through turning. All right, so we'll try to get you into one of these cells so you can kind of see what's going on. There we go. So this is gonna be really hard to tell, but that water level's down about three inches from where it should be. And we're starting to see the top of the cells exposed. Let's see if I can get a better angle on one of these. Yep, there you go. You can start to see a little bit of the lead there being exposed. So you don't wanna see that electro level, electrolyte level drop below any of that lead because then you start having corrosion and obviously the battery isn't able to take advantage of that surface area. So that's why you need to fill these guys up or keep them topped up. Now they do make automatic fillers for these where you'd have literally a line going into every single one of these that keep them topped up. I actually don't like that because you never have any reason to go back and look at it and inspect your battery bank. So I'd much rather do this once every six months because every six months I'm back in here cleaning and I'm able to inspect every cell to see if we have any problems going on and catch it before it gets too bad. A little light on the head and a whole lot of distilled water.
Amazingly consistent, so that just took 23, well, 23 and a half gallons of water, and that is like right dead smack in the middle of where it is every six months. So it's very, very dependable in that sense. Now, what I typically like to do is just blow out these um, charge controllers. The fans collect a lot of dust operating in the shop, obviously. And that's about it. So I do that every six months. I've been doing that every six months for the last three years and she just keeps on purring. Can't complain. Uh, cost me about 25 bucks every six months to put distilled water in these things. And then it saves us three, 400 bucks a month easily uh, in electricity. So if it ain't broke, don't replace it yet. I'm gonna keep riding these things until they don't perform. And then obviously I'll be going to some sort of lithium based system, which will take up less room. Um, but the expense is through the roof. So I'm gonna milk these babies for as long as I can. As always, everybody, I wanna thank you for watching. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, and or criticisms, throw them down in the comment section below me. Otherwise, have a great day.